Hi, this is uh, Bob and Janine Hall from Halsam Farm, and we wanted to make a special YouTube video. Um, many, several months ago, our farm was hit with some tragedy, and we lost uh, our two great Pyrenees that uh, helped protect the farm. And uh, we had a special family, the Nilsons, who had a litter of great Pyrenees, and Yesterday, they, they blessed us with two 10-week-old pups, and uh, these are brothers, and uh, we're going to train them to help protect the farm. Since we've lost our other dogs, we've, we've been losing three to four chickens a week, and we've lost some goats and had other problems from, from uh, coyotes and hawks and other uh, varmints that uh, these dogs always help keep uh, these predators away from our livestock. So we're looking forward to, and we're so appreciative of the Nielsen family for, for doing this for us. And uh, <clears throat> now we have a dilemma. We don't have names for these dogs. So since we've been doing YouTube videos for about three months now, the response has been just overwhelming. We, we've had videos seen in 163 different countries around the world. So we thought it would be kind of fun if uh, we could get people to put in the comment section below a couple names of their favorite dog names and uh, we're going to kind of do a worldwide project here and see what names we can come up with for these two dogs and in about three or four weeks our family will get together and we'll pick the names and uh, uh, we'll uh, We'll make another video, update uh, what the dogs look like, tell you whose names we picked and what country uh, those names came from. Tell you a little bit, this dog, he, uh, he's got some brown here on his forehead. He's the biggest of the dogs, and he's got some brown on his tail area. Uh, do you want to tell him about this dog? This is a smaller dog. He's got very light brown on his ears. And his head, and he's mostly white. Yes, you are. So we're we're looking for names for these these guys. They're going to be able to protect our farm, and they're already good with chickens and goats. And anyway, if you could help us out, we'd appreciate it. Just put your your name, uh, the dogs' names, in the comments below. If there's a story behind those names, give us a description of that. And please put the country that you're from so that uh, when we pick out the uh, winning names, we can let everybody know who you are and what the story is and what, uh, what country you're from. And uh, we'll, we'll update you in about four weeks. So if you like the sustainable videos that we've been making, we, uh, we sure appreciate you watching. And hopefully this is beneficial to you. And, giving you some ideas of what you can do on your own place and we love all the comments and and uh, all the input that we've been getting from them so hopefully we'll help each other out but please <laughs> please tell your friends and family and, and and spread this to everybody you know so that in the next few weeks we can get hundreds and hundreds of names okay. you call him loud or something what's he barking at? <laughs> Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. Anyway, please help us out on this worldwide project and uh, naming the pups. We'd uh, appreciate it. And this is uh, Bobby Janine on Wholesome Farm, and thank you for watching. <laughs>